VIP. Let's kick it. These rappers give new meaning to the phrase drop in the mic. I should call one name Joe. That's show for Joanna. That's too legit to quit shit. This bitch just go hammer. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rappers who fell off the map. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. I sit back with my brand new invention. While the fates of one hit wonders like Vanilla Ice and Chameleon Air are intriguing. They see me rolling. They hating. Our list covers rappers who experienced success and subsequently departed from the scene. Break your freaking neck, boy. We're also excluding MC Hammer because, while he's not regularly producing new music on par with his early 90s fame, he hasn't totally gone AWOL. Number 10. Mr. Cal. Shake your ass. Watch yourself. Shake your ass. Show me what you're working for. He was a core member of Master P's No Limit Records during the late 90s and disappeared faster than you can say. Make him say, oh, oh. Mr. Cal teamed up with Pharrell Williams of the Neptunes in 2000 to inspire worldwide booty bouncing with Shake Your Ass. Shake your ass. Watch yourself. Shake your ass. Show me what you're working for but couldn't make it last after a six-year prison sentence in 2004 for sexual battery. Once a promising superstar, Mr. Cal failed to release an album from 2001 to 2014, but his unintelligible lyrics stand the test of time. Number nine, Missy Elliott. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. It's she was worth it, and she worked it. It's your primitive plan yet. But then she hit the brakes suddenly and reversed it. The supremely gifted Missy Elliott began her rapping career with Puff Daddy in the mid 90s and stunned the hip hop game with her 1997 debut album, Super Dupa Fly. I'm driving to the beach. Top down, loud sound, see my piece. Give them pounds now, look who it be. After pumping out several iconic albums during the early 2000s, Elliot was forced into semi-retirement due to a battle with Graves' disease. Everybody here get it out of control. Despite a decade away, this former chart topper plans a return to music and let's hope she doesn't stop. Here I go, flip my flip. Back it up, then it drop it low. Number eight, Cameron. I got a girl, my ex when I holla and spit. Told me to acknowledge you quick. She like Cam, stop frying. This Harlem rapper dropped an apostrophe in the middle of his name, along with some serious rhymes in the late 90s and early 2000s. After being introduced to the late notorious B.I.G., Cameron instantly earned a record deal and signed with Rockefeller just a few years later. He appeared in several films for the label and continued to release albums with the Dipset crew. But somehow, this fire-spitting MC never experienced a career spark beyond a warm blaze. We ain't doing burial. Shots to the face, man. Oh, kill him, Terry, yo. Number seven, Fat Joe. Got to do it, got to do it. Despite a mind built for business as the CEO of Terror Squad Entertainment, this Bronx born lyricist could never match the hype of his 2004 hit, Lean Back. Don't dance, he just pull up a pants and do the rock away. Now lean back, lean back. Fat Joe earned a 2008 Grammy Award nomination for his collaboration with Lil Wayne on Make It Rain. But ever since, but ever since, the hip-hop mogul has been dropping more weight than he's been dropping rhymes. 
Despite a new outlook on life and a fresh look, Fat Joe couldn't avoid Johnny Law and was sentenced to four months in the clink for tax evasion in 2013. Number 6. Mace. And you'll never kick my chick in a thirsty spot. Though she ain't king of diamonds, it don't mean that she ain't worth a lot. Once an apparent successor to the late notorious B.I.G., this former bad boy boasts more fingers on one hand than album releases. Mace earned a Grammy Award nomination for his 1997 debut, Harlem World. Bad, 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 bad boy. Yeah. You make me feel so good. Bad. And sported numerous shiny suits while touring with mentor Sean Puff Daddy Combs. Now, who's hot, who not? Tell me who rock, who sell out in the stores? You tell me who flop, who cop the blue drop? However, a calling from God distanced the slow rhyming MC from music during the late 90s until he stepped back on the scene in 2004 with the hit album Welcome Back. I see the girls in the club, they're getting wild for me. And all the pretty chicks all wanna smile at me. These rap cats, man, they all got this style for me. Unfortunately for faithful Mace followers, a decade would pass without a new release. Bad boy. Number five, Soldier Boy. Hey, Soldier Boy, can I y'all trick y'all? Yo, what a rap, I really like y'all trick y'all. This Atlanta product was making it crunk before his 18th birthday, but slowly drifted away, much like his 2007 hit, Crank That Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy, I'm in it. Oh. Why me crank it? Why me roll? Why me crank that Soldier Boy, that Superman, that all? Oh. Soldier Boy used to drop hooks like nobody's business, but was heavily criticized for his overly poppy sound. Pablo Escobar, Pablo Escobar. The Southern MC dropped his fourth album at the end of 2014, his first in four years, but also managed to secure a role on VH1's Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, the real life state of limbo for hip hop has beens. Have you ever lived with a rapper? <laughs> no, I've never lived with a rapper. Number four, Exhibit. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get rolling. He reached a generation with the wildly successful MTV show Pimp My Ride, but his music remains an enigma, much like his moniker. Exhibit became a household name after joining forces with Dr. Dre in 2000. And after a couple of years of poetic prominence on the hip-hop scene, this West Coast MC became better known for his hosting skills than his lyrical acumen. You ain't trying to hot box with me. I swing hard liquor going down by the second round. All hell the underground. How that sound? Exhibit back and down from a conflict. Exhibit's multiple returns to his music career have seen failure, as his last two albums in 2006 and 2012 bombed financially. I used to hustle the corner, but I ain't bringing you that. Nah. I'm like swinging the back, right at your kneecaps for coming at your face like that. Yeah. Someone needs to pimp this guy's music career. Okay. Now let me tell you who I ain't. You can't run no games. That's what you need to do, girl. So, so. Number three. Bow Wow. I've been watching you for a minute. Come through here so sweet, send it. Your life, girl, you need me in it. I'm determined to win it. I As DMX once said, where are my dogs at? This former boyhood wonder was groomed for the business by Jermaine Dupri and rocked the mic with sharp rhymes all the way to the bank. I represent the S O S O E E F M O B. That's me, J E, Brett, J E. So please believe. But as fate would have it, Lil Bow Wow grew up quickly while fan interest decreased. Now basketball is my favorite sport. Uh -huh. I like the way to dribble up and down the court. Thus leading the Ohio native to swap music for Hollywood. Hit the mall, pop tags, spin a few G. Get the runway to a new season. Although Bow Wow's discography may no longer be anything special, his stardom continues to grow with lead roles in Roll Bounce, Johnson Family Vacation, and even a spot in the Fast and Furious franchise. <laughs> DMX. DMX. A 
always one to sink his teeth into anything. This former superstar was on top of the world before a steady decline into hip hop hysteria. Stop. With a powerful voice, enormous passion, and unparalleled talent, DMX experienced a five-year run during the late 90s and early 2000s that earned him a spot among the greats. Unfortunately, the rap sheet of this Bronx native resembles a novel more than a Wikipedia entry. Rapper DMX has been arrested in the upstate again. After such a promising start, DMX has managed to spend more time in the slammer than in the studio, and released only one album after 2006. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why. This is why. This is why I'm hot. This time around, I ain't taking no shit. This time around, I never get bit. This one strong should be labeled as a hazard. Some of y'all need hot psych. I'm gassing. Clowns, I spot them and I can't stop laughing. Number one, Ja Rule. I know that you're loving me, cause you're thug with me, with me, my baby. This Queens native was once a staple of the Billboard Hot 100, a rapper synonymous with success and hip-hop jams, and destined to become a name that future generations would reflect on with fond memories. Although Ja Rule accomplished great feats during his illustrious career, his current state of affairs can best be described as TBA. As one of the primary figures of hip-hop during the DMX era, Ja Rule fell into lyrical oblivion, while clinging to relevancy through endless feuds. The rules of the game are that you must play the game. Come back to us, Ja. Come back. Agree with our list? Who's your favorite rapper who fell off the map? Making your drunk, feeling the funk, blazing the skunk. Stay hitting with the shit that blow a hole in your trunk. For more mind-blowing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.